church is disciples and disciples. That means if you are a Christ follower, follower excuse me, you have the distinct honor um, and pleasure to help others know Jesus and make Jesus known. And I don't think there's any greater calling than as parents to help us help our kids um, know Jesus. And so none of us know how our kids are going to respond to the gospel. They could be like a prodigal son and go running. They could embrace Jesus um, from today on. Um, but what we do know is that there is a God that knows them and loves them. And that as their parents, it is your job and our job as the church to partner along with you to help disciple your children. Now, dedicating our kids to God doesn't mean that we have a special protection or blessing. It just means that we are saying we cannot do this alone. And um, parenting is hard, and we want you to know that you are not alone in that. Your greatest job as a parent is to model what it looks like to love Jesus. The Apostle Paul told his church, Follow my example as I follow the example of Christ in 1 Corinthians 11.1. This is a say that every parent should say to their children. It doesn't mean that you're perfect. We all make mistakes. I have made plenty with our two. Um, no parents are perfect, and that's what this saying means. That as they follow our example, that hopefully they are also following Christ's example as we dedicate them here today. Ultimately, a love for Jesus is not taught. It is taught, and it starts in our homes. So we want to introduce our families to you this morning. Um, you have two joining us for the service, and we are honored that they are here. So, so my name's Andrew, and this is my wife, Christy, and my daughter, Sandy. Hi, Sandy. Hi. My name is Larry. This is my wife, Rachel, and her son, Ethan. And he's one years old. And we've got a little gift for you guys from the church. should respond, I do, when I finish reading several different statements. So at the end. <laughs> do you commit to lead your family to love Jesus, love people, and make a difference? Do you commit to creating a stable environment at home in which your children can mature? Do you commit to being parents of personal faith, recognizing that your children are more likely to follow God's path by the model they first observe in the home? Do you commit to be parents with patience, Recognizing your inherent strengths and weaknesses, your desire to shape your child is a loving act that will require time, prayer, and God in order to produce in your children what he and you hope for. And finally, do you commit to be actively involved in church and to make it a priority for your family? If you agree, please respond with that. And parents, we want you to know that you are not alone. The reason we have next level tops in kids and this church family so that we can come alongside you and help to point you and your children to Jesus. You're going to spend much more time with your kids than we will, of course, but when the time comes and when there is a need, we want to be here for you. We want to partner with you, and as you commit to teach your kids about Jesus, we also want to help you do that. The reason we do this as a church here in front of you and not at home is that because you as the church are going to play a role in their lives as well. You might be their small group leader. You might be in a small group with their parents. You might um, teach them back in the kids' wing. They might call on you to babysit um, or to be a prayer warrior with them, which is equally as important. And when that time comes, we want them to have other adults that can speak truth into their lives, and you as their church family will have that opportunity. So church, I'm going to read you four statements, and at the end, if you agree to commit to help guide these parents and pray for their children, repeat I do. Do you commit to support these parents as they raise their children? Do you commit to pray for these children? Do you commit to being a voice that will help these children love Jesus, love people, and make a difference? I do. With that being said, I'd like to pray for you guys. Dear God, we thank you for being the model for us as parents. We thank you that your love and grace and patience um, is more than we'll ever be able to do on our own. And we just pray right now, Lord, for Christy and Andrew and Larry and Rachel, for Ethan and Sadie. We just ask, God, that you would direct their path, that you would draw both of their, their hearts to you as they grow. Um, give these parents supernatural wisdom and rest and patience um, 
as they try to follow you and point their children to you, Jesus. Uh, we thank you for this opportunity as a church to support them. Please help us to find ways to serve them and love on them as young families. And we ask all of these things in your name. Amen. Amen. Amen.